so we're gonna kill the player right now. We're gonna fill it in. And boom, he gave us 20 bottles. Welcome back, guys, to another Roblox Studio tutorial. Today, we're gonna be doing a new tutorial. Well, it's gonna be a new tutorial, of course, but it's gonna be kind of a part two from my last one. And it's basically how to make an NPC or a player drop cash when they die. So let's say you kill a person, right? Kill a player or you kill an NPC, right? You kill a character and they drop cash how can you really do that so in a previous tutorial i had this cash right here as you can see i will be linking this in the description this is basically what the player will drop so you can actually use this it is scripted so when you click on it you should get the amount of cash that's in uh this uh cash <laughs> and it's dealt in this bill in this money thing you might need okay all right, cool, cool, cool. So we can actually put this in a replicated storage, not server script storage, not server script service, replicated storage. Uh, and then we're gonna have this link. So we're just gonna use this for an example, right? So we're gonna put this in a starter pack. Um, not starter plate, starter pack. Um, we're just gonna be using this, and I will also be linking this in the description as well. So let's say we kill a player let's add a player right here or like a, a character i should say all right i mean yeah it's a character character's player uh did i am i tripping right now so right now i cannot see i cannot see the load okay, this is weird uh that is weird i cannot load a character right now all right let's say avatar importer da, 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 this one nope this is not why i needed um okay let's search up for a noob honestly uh it doesn't really matter we're gonna just go to models and we're gonna search up new let's only see anything any model we're gonna use an npc so it's gonna be an npc right here uh, I think they edited, they remodeled the fucking text or something. My bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, um, I don't know why I closed the output. Because right now, this is, the plugin is acting weird right now. That is weird. I don't know where the plugin is. Okay. You know, this is good enough. Um, so I think right now we can kill it. Who's going to test this? Ooh, okay, we're gonna test this real quick. Okay, let's put this back here, and we're gonna test this. Start, I think, oh, not here, but play should be. I forgot what play is. Play is F5. We're gonna do. I should probably know the hotkeys for these, but better. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's save the Okay, wow, this is really slow right now. Don't mind my right now it's not even working at all. That's interesting. So I think the noob is uh not actually a working noob. Let's see if this one works. F5. Or we can just add a dummy, honestly. Right, or is the it could be the Alright, so this works. We can kill the noob. I don't know, some dumb, like some models are wacky and they didn't work so it's kind of weird although i didn't have a health bar i don't know why all because i had internet health i'm not sure but okay so we have the character this is our character of course you can add whatever character you want as long as it works so how do we make it drop coins or cash when or anything really when it dies and obviously you don't have to put this you can actually put this in starter character scripts if you want it to apply to characters when they die or not characters, uh, players, right? So if you want this to apply to uh, players when they die, just basically make the same script inside starter character scripts. You just put the script inside here instead of, for example, the noob, right? So but in this case, we're going to put it in the NPC in the noob. So we're going to make a script. And right here, yeah, let's put it in the character. And we're going to name this drop cash. 
So let's make some variables. So local ca ca character. Skip that parent. So car stands for character. Local human equals car weight per child humanoid. Human that died connect function. All right. And then we're going to drop some cash. So let's say, well, let's make a number range for how much cash it drops. Okay. So local money range, money drop range, money, money drop range equals the number range dot new. And then we make a new number range. Or actually what we should do, hmm, actually instead of a range, let's make a random, a random number. So money drop, so local money drop, money dropped equals math.random and then we make two uh, parameters so the minimum and the maximum let's say from 10 to 25 so we're just going to pick a random number from 10 to 25 and it's going to drop that amount all right so now we picked a random amount for the cash to be dropped we're going to actually use the cash right here in replicator store so let's get the cash so local cash Mo with cash where game that rubber storage that wait for child cash so local cash local cash clone local cash clone cash clone and then it's gonna be in billboard gui so that's the actual text that appears the amount the billboard gui the amount of cash that value equals money dropped so we're going to set the value of it to the amount that's dropped and this should uh oh <laughs> and i think we also need to check we need to also set the text to it too apparently so cash clone dot billboard ui dot amount dot text equals money dropped as well or we should do two string in case two string money drop we're going to convert the number to a string so we can set it as the text all right and that's pretty much it uh oh of course we have to put it in the workspace because right now it's in we just cloned it right but we didn't parent it to anything so nothing will really happen so we need to do uh, cash cl cash clone. We need to parent it to the workspace. That workspace. Let's do game. That workspace. Game. That workspace. Then cash clone. Dot C frame. And I think what I did last time is I did look a vector. So maybe instead of doing uh just doing a random thing imaging, a random like position value, we should actually do. We'll do C frame that new C frame that new, and I think let me see what I did last time. So for the cash drop I made here, let's see what I let's see what I did. Uh, <laughs> server drop cash right here. So C frame human that C frame, uh, and then human that C frame that look vector times everything that new three three three. Um, I'm gonna just copy this to be honest because it is a bit confusing. Let's see. Let's see if I can explain it. So, okay, it's not C frame that new, but we're gonna do human. Uh, actually, the humanoid root part. Okay, so that's different. So that's the actual human, like the humanoid part of the character. So, human root. Go car wait for child. Humanoid root part. This is like the. It's the where the torso is basically. You can do torso, but like, because it could be R6 or R15. Uh, well, torso is only part of R6. So for R15, it would be like lower torso and upper torso. So that would really work. Um, so we'll do human root dot C frame. And then we add, I think, do we add or do we... Dun, 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 dun. We add uh, C frame dot new C frame dot new. Or a C frame that look vector. Hmm. 
Oh god, wait, what did I put here? Oh my god. Human that C frame, human root that C frame dot look vector. Oh yeah, so the human root the look vector basically is where the humanoid is looking at. So right now, and we is we multiply by vector three, so we just kind of make it a bit farther from the character. Maybe in this case we'll do like one one one. And it is a bit confusing, but basically, all we're doing we're setting the position of the cache to the humanoid, right? But you don't want it exactly in the humanoid uh, part because it's going to be inside. You don't want it inside. You just want it a bit away from the humanoid, and we want it like in front of where it's facing. So that's how we use look vector because that's the vector where it's looking at. So just so a kind of can make a bit more sense, um, we're gonna. So for example, let me just explain real quick. So for example, um, I'm, if I'm looking this way, right? If I'm looking this way, uh, the look vector would face this way, would be this direction. So this is the C frame value. If I'm looking this way, the C uh, look the look vector would be this way. If I'm looking that way. The look vector will be that way, and in this case, if the noob is looking this way, the look vector would be this way. So let's see if this actually works. I'm not sure. It won't work with it. Maybe I forgot something. Okay, so it does work. It drops right in front of them, and that's pretty much it. Um, of course, we kind of want to do a little bit of uh, da, da, da. Ah, yeah, maybe we should put this at like two, 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 so it's a bit farther from the character. And then we'll do for the amount of cat and the checks that we're going to do dot dot or actually like, like this but like dollar signs so dollar signs right and dot dot all right so let's kill the player baboom balaluna so we're going to kill the player right now we're going to kill the player. And boom, he gave us 20 balas. He gave us the he gave us the moolah, right? So he gave us 20 bones. And that's pretty much it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Very simple tutorial. If you want more, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down your next suggestion if it's a good suggestion. If you want, you can join our Discord. Uh, let me know if you want to do if you want to do like some certain events like giveaways and stuff like that. Maybe not giveaways or like challenges. So yeah, like give me like good like video ideas in the Discord server. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.